dealership of SoCal, California. And a little update here, we're working on our 1960 Cadillac Eldorado Burritz convertible. We're working on the factory airbag system. We're almost to the point where we need to hang our core support, put our fenders and hood on. But I want to show you some of the key, the very, very key important parts to this air ride suspension. I'm going to point them out. It's a crazy deal. They got these little O-rings. A regular O-ring doesn't work. It causes leaks. These are like little tiny flat ones. We'll take a look at those also. But right now, let's get in here and take a look at the one that makes the car go up and down. So let's take a look at the detail of this bow. This is for our air ride suspension. When we go up and down on the car, this lever moves. There's a cable that comes through here, goes up to underneath the dash. We have, this one's actually marked with a red dot. This is for the air pressure, which goes to the rear leveling valves. This one on the bottom, marked blue, actually goes to the exhaust. This one here is gonna go up to our air cleaner. It's gonna be keyed off, and then it's gonna go up into our pump area. The one here is gonna go to our front leveling valve for our pressure. This one here goes to our front leveling valve for our exhaust. Let's get up underneath here. The one up underneath this engine is crazy. It's by the exhaust, the motor mounts, everything. There's actually a rod that actually goes through the frame up to our sway bar. Let's take a close look. Okay, so here's our front leveling valve. These plastic lines go to our right and left air canister air bags. Here's the ones I just showed you that went from our air level valve right there to there. Here's that arm. It goes through the cross member and it's going to go to the sway bar. It actually goes through the frame. Right there's the rod. Let me see if we can move that and show it to you. Right there. And then in the front, you're going to see we don't have it hooked up right now but it goes just like that, so I can show you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to move it if it were attached to the sway bar. It hooks up right there. Now, let's go take a look at the frame rail stuff. Our rear air level valve lines go from the front valve, runs along the frame, got some clips there, goes all the way to the back. Let's go take a look at the back. So one of our lines go off to our pop-off valve, and the other one goes to this T-fitting. And then they go to the side of the car. You probably want to take a look at one of those. They're both the same on both sides. And then it runs along the frame rail right there. Let's take a look at the bag. So here we have our rear valve on our driver's side. It's got a little arm here. goes up and down with the trailing arm. We don't have it attached yet. We don't have our bags in yet either. We're going to do that last. There's a whole bunch of setup that you need to do on that. We don't want to ruin our bags, especially as rare as they are and as hard as they are to come by. So that's what it looks like. The passenger side is just the opposite. The only thing that's really going to be opposite is the tall fitting. It's going to be near here, back and forth. That's about it. Again, this goes up and down, and that'll adjust our air ride. Let's do an overview. So here's our air compressor. It actually has a cast iron pulley, not a stamped steel one. It has two pistons. This is where the air comes out, goes to the reserve tank, pumps it into the tank. There's a couple fittings right down here. The lower one is going to go to the engine block return. The other one is going to get its oil pressure from the engine block. The power steering and the air compressor is one unit. Pretty crazy. There's still a lot, of, a lot more pieces to go on this before it's actually operable. But this is a nice close look up of what to expect if you're working on your own. So 
as you can see, I don't know much about the air ride suspension in this. And you may think that I'm a windbag. But you know what? I want to thank you for watching, and I also want to thank PapaDent.com for sponsoring us and this video.